Hello, my friends. Blessings and greetings from Father Angelo. Today, my message for you is a little different from all other days. This month, I will complete three years here at St. Gillian's as your priest. So far, it's been an amazing journey for me, and I hope it was the same for you too. We have journeyed together three years as a community and have experienced many wonderful blessings from our Lord. We have grown as a community that is truly vibrant, dynamic, welcoming, but most importantly, a community that loves and cares. For me as a priest, or more specifically as your pastor, our church is everything that a priest dreams of. It has been a great honor and an absolute joy being your pastor and serving you. I take great pride in all of you and I can't thank God enough for you. As I look back at this year, See how we began the season of Lent with much hope, determination and a desire to grow closer to the Lord. We even added an extra Mass during the weekdays and we were thrilled to see the Mass attendance doubling or more than doubling. Everything was going so well for us and St. Gillian Church was thriving when unexpectedly this pandemic hit us. And it's been close to three months since we have gathered together as a community to celebrate the Eucharist at the church. These last few months have been difficult and challenging for all of us in many different ways. But we have kept our faith and we have done everything that we could to keep our community together and strong. You have been very patient, very generous, and very supportive. And I can't thank you enough for that. It's during these difficult days that we show who we really are. And I must say that I've been so touched by your gestures, by your kindness, by your patience and love for the church. The official date for reopening the church is June 14th, which is the solemnity of the most sacred body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we have decided to have a soft opening, which means starting this coming Monday, we will start celebrating the Eucharist here inside the church with the congregation. But things are not going to be the same as before, at least for some time. And therefore, what I would humbly request all of you is to please follow the guidelines that we would be giving you. And these guidelines are for your own safety and for the safety of others, for the safety of our community. This is the best time for us to show to the world who we are as Christians. And let's not miss this opportunity. I have great confidence in you. And I know this is all going to be well. Now, how we are going to do the soft opening is this way. Instead of having two masses on weekdays, we will have only one mass. We've been celebrating the weekday mass here in the church, just Father Tuan and I, at 8 a.m. in the morning. So we will keep the same time. So on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday, we will have mass inside the church. But on Tuesday and Thursday, 
we love mass outside in the parking lot. Because when we gather here during the weekend, we will be having mass both inside the church and outside in the parking lot. The reason why we are starting to have mass outside in the parking lot is because of the restrictions that we have right now. Only a hundred people are allowed inside the church. And we know so many of you want to come back to church and we can't wait to welcome you. We do not want to deprive anyone who wants to come to celebrate mass. But since we can only accommodate 100 people inside the church at a time, we are making mass available in the parking lot. For those of you who may not be feeling so well or who should not be inside the church in a crowd, have the option to come to attend mass in the parking lot. We are doing everything possible to make sure that none of you is deprived of the opportunity to attend the Mass and receive the Holy Eucharist. But please remember, when you come for Mass, you all have to wear a mask. Whether it is inside the church or outside in the parking lot, everyone is expected to wear a mask. And as you come to the church, our volunteers will guide you inside and they will seat you in a pew where you'll be seated six feet away from your immediate parishioner. So there are some restrictions and some guidelines that we have to all follow for some time. My hope and my humble request to you all is Please be patient, please cooperate with us, and please know all these things are in place for your own safety, for the safety of our community. And we have to work together to keep ourselves safe. I look forward to welcoming you. I can't wait to see you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all your blessings. As we look forward to coming back to church, celebrating the Eucharist. We pray, Father, keep us all safe. Grant us the grace to be more loving and more caring towards others. Give us the grace, Father, to be truly Christians. This is the best time for us to show the world who we are as a faith community, as believers, as your loving children. Mary, our mother, we ask you to pray for us. Help us to be true disciples, true Christians, as we come back to church to celebrate the Mass. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please know St. Gillian Church loves you. St. Gillian Church prays for you. And we are excited to welcome you back. God bless you and looking forward to seeing you all soon. Have a blessed day.